G'day everybody, the sirens are ringing. Check your news because another Relevance AI product update has been released into the wild. You guys have all seen one of those movies where there's a big makeover scene, the unfashionable lead character is dragged in and out of the change room and eventually by the end of a somewhat comical process, they look fantastic afterwards. I think that's what we've done this week with our new edit agent experience makeover. It's received a huge glow up not only does it look a lot prettier, but we've tried to organize information in a way more easy to understand way. We've grouped things in the new sidebar that you can see over here. Some stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Your tools are in the tool section. The sub-agents are in the sub-agent section. I think one thing to think is if you can't find a setting, check out the advanced setting option um, and it'll probably be sitting in there. But hopefully this makes understanding how to build and edit your agents in Relevance AI a lot easier. I think one of my favorite features we've added is the new agent avatar selector. We've designed a pretty fun looking pack of our first agent avatars. Pick one for your agent, make it look cooler. We've got a pretty diverse range here and we'll probably release some more in the future. Bit of fun. Let's dive into some of the smaller features we've shipped in this release. One that a lot of people will ask us for is the ability to see the before and after when you change the inputs that an agent proposes when asking for approval. That was a lot of words, what do I mean by that? So you have a tool, you have it, have to request approval. The agent will ask to use the tool and give you the inputs it wants to use. If you change one of those inputs, like you're able to do, it will then show you when you're inspecting that tool execution later, what the agent originally proposed, what you changed it to, and even let you easily add feedback so that we can help train our upcoming model for agent decision-making. Another cool feature, you can now pause your agent tasks so if you click the big pause button, that means that the agent can no longer receive new messages either from yourself or from triggers. For example, if you have it connected to your email and a new email comes in, it won't respond to that email. It won't trigger any activity. A caveat is that it will continue to finish whatever work it's doing now, but then it won't do any more work after that. When you're editing your agent, you'll often add tools to it. Some of those tools are our pre-built tool templates, really common ones like Google search, website scraping, but at some point you might wanna go and modify that tool. Now we make that really easy. There's a new detach button in your tool list in the edit agent experience where if you click it in the background, we'll clone the tool to your account, attach it back to that agent with all of the same settings. So now that exact same tool is there, except you own it. You can go customize it in our tool builder. And that's a wrap on today's release update. Before I go, I wanna give a massive shout out to our Discord community. It's been such a cool place to be a part of lately. So much activity, so many people sharing cool things. I wanna point out one particular new channel we have in there, the Share Your Work channel, where people are sharing the agents that they're building. Um, we've had a few people challenge us to some agent building jewels. It's been really fun. So if you have something you're working on in our platform, share it in our Discord community, in the Share Your Work channel. We look at every single one and it really excites us and helps us understand what features we should focus on and you know how we can make your experience better. Awesome, thanks so much. I've been Dan, this is Relevance. See you later.